this part, let's create a dynamic block that can be stretched. First, click Create Block command in the ribbon. Tap a name for the block. Click Pick Point button to pick insertion base point in the current drawing. Then click Select Objects button and select the multi-line object. Enter. Click OK. So the multi-line object now is converted to a block. Next, double-click this block and click OK to open the block editor. Then select the liner stretch parameter pair in the ribbon to add stretch parameter and action to the block. Enable object snap and click on this point as a start point for a distance. Then specify the end point for the distance. Put the label here. OK. Notice that there is an exclamation mark next to the action symbol, which means the action settings are not finished. So we need to set the action now. As I want the window can be stretched from both sides, I'm going to double click this mark on the left. Specify the stretch frame, which is the area that we can stretch. And select the object. Press enter. And then double click the mark on the right. Specify the stretch frame again. And select the object. Enter. OK, let's close the block editor. Yes. You can say the window can be stretched from both sides.